Hi guys, welcome back to today's room. I uh, have another painting here today, another watercolor painting. Uh, again, I'm using my Kuretake watercolors. I'm going to first draw the image with my zebra. Dura, what's it called? Oh, the Delgard. Zebra Delgard 0 0.5. My favorite mechanical pencil. Uh, this is going to be a picture of a little bee. And with a flower and um, just some foliage in, uh, fo foliage in the background. I found this image on Google. Uh, just did a random search for nature images. And this picture came up and I really liked it. Uh, so yeah, I have to figure I'd give this one a shot today. Hope everybody's doing well out there. So far, we are weathering the storm here, the, the the coronavirus storm. So far, we're doing okay. We have some groceries in the fridge, and uh, nobody's sick yet, so we're we're all hanging in there and just doing our best to uh, stay safe. Hope you all all are doing the same. I'm just for drawing the, a rough guideline of the of the leaves and the little plant branches and stuff like that. Just giving a, a basic rough outline just so I have an idea of where to put the paint. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go in and start applying the water just so I can start making that uh, the background for the piece. The background is, uh, you know, it's, it's out of focus and blurry, so I'm not really concerned with too much getting too much detail in the background. So I'm just applying the uh, some green here and there. The shadows are a little bit darker on the right hand side of the page so I'm going in with a little bit darker color, colored greens. And I'm using my number 12 Artist Loft brush for this part of the picture. I, I've only used uh, three brushes on this painting. A number 12, a number 11, and a finer number six just to get some of the uh, tighter details in there's really not, not a lot of detail in this painting I kept it kind of abstract um, I did have a lot of problems with this painting I'm not gonna lie uh, but I'm ultimately happy with how it turned out you know every every painting is more practice than anything else uh, so uh, that's how I choose to look at it.
going in with a little bit of red just to get some definition into the uh, little fronds there is or th there are some little red highlights on the twigs uh, in the source and uh, now I'm going in and there's a really vibrant red and yellow flower that the bee is attracted to uh, so I'm going in and laying down a heavy dose of that red going to go in and add some yellow to the bottom of it because it does fade into a little orange yellow but I did I wound up putting too much water uh, on the flower and it wound up running and I had a heck of a time trying to rein that back in uh, I had to go in and uh, you'll see it'll start leaking here in a few same thing with this flower you can see I really put way too much water uh, on that flower or not that flower that leaf You can see the top leaf turned out much more successful than that bottom leaf. And there's where I put the water bled out. I was trying to, uh, I, let, I accidentally left a gap of uh, the paper showing I didn't get paint uh, up close to the to the flower. So I was trying to fill that in. Um, but there was so much water in that flower that it wound up flowing with the new water that I put on and it bled out. So now i got to try to go in and clean it up. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you use watercolor sometimes. I'm getting in the inside of the flower with some yellow. So over here, there's a puff, uh, there's a, a out of focus puff of blue. I don't know what's behind this leaf over here, but it's like a little puff of blue. That's what I was trying to get there. I'm just filling in the body, uh, the bee with uh, some black. Now I'm going to get some red and just try to get that flower back under control. Uh, it's a little bit of a drier brush. And just trying to get that outer edge as clean as possible. And I'm just going back in with a little bit more yellow just to add some highlights to the body of the flower. That's uh, Amazon telling me that I have a package arriving today. I think it's printer paper. And 
just adding some red highlights to the leaf the leaves uh, on these bushes there there it does have little tinges of red around the edges so I'm just going in there and adding some of that And I think that's going to just about do it here. Just finishing up a couple of touches on that uh, leaf on the left-hand side. I really was unhappy with how that leaf turned out. I uh, just didn't get the definition that I wanted to. But uh, like I said, this was more of an abstract painting. Um, wasn't going for too much detail. But uh, I hope you liked it. I had a good time painting it. Um, hope you liked watching it. If you do, please uh, like the video and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time with uh, my next painting. All right. Bye-bye.